So today we'll be getting into some stories regarding Seth Rollins sending a warning to Roman Reigns, plans being cancelled, and a backstage fight. Let's start things off with the two Raw superstars that already seem like they're gone from television after the start of what seemed to be a push. These two big names being Mansoor and Umberto. Umberto has been with WWE for a while now but was off of television. Umberto made his return to television over the last few weeks by accepting Sheamus' open challenges for the United States title. Umberto was legitimately hurt during one of those matches with Sheamus. The match had to be stopped, but thankfully he wasn't as banged up as everyone thought. But he hasn't been seen since. Reports claim that he is okay, it just seems that WWE has decided to focus on someone else and go another direction. That also brings up the Mansoor. Mansoor has been with WWE for a handful of years now, but was never officially a part of the main roster locker room. All that changed a few weeks ago when he was shown on screen signing his official Raw contract. He faced Sheamus, lost his long undefeated streak via disqualification, and hasn't been seen since. So Mansoor has been a name that fans have been discussing over the last few weeks. They want to know, where is he? What's going on there with him? Was it a one-night-only appearance? Well, technically, no. He did sign the Raw contract, so it appeared like we were going to see him on a regular basis from now on. But apparently not. It's really hard to tell. Everything seems to be really week-to-week -week with these sort of things. So who knows what's next for Umberto and Mansoor? It appears that Sheamus is now feuding with Ricochet, so... What's going to happen to the two small feuds he started with Mansoor and Umberto? Well, that's a good question to ask. Maybe it's done, or maybe they'll revisit it in the future. We're just going to have to take a look at it week to week. Seth Rollins sends warning to Roman Reigns. Backlash ended with a big teaser of Seth Rollins vs. Roman Reigns and Rollins attacking Cesaro. Well, Seth Rollins recently appeared on WWE's The Bump, I was questioning about his intentions with Roman Reigns. Seth had this to say on everything going on with Roman Reigns. Well, if I wasn't caught up in the middle of it, I wouldn't make anything of it. But like I said a few weeks ago, if his cousins don't stay out of my business, I'm going to make it my business to shut them up the same way I did to Cesaro. So, it seems to me that he's got one of them under control. Now, if he wants to get Jimmy on the same page as Jay, respect. And I'm going to give him the opportunity to do that just as I know he would to me. But like I told him, straight up, I don't care who you are, head of the table or the tribal chief, you're my brother. You're Roman Reigns, but when we're face to face, we're equals, my friend. So I'm going to give you the opportunity to get what you need to get done with your family. That's your business. If it happens again, we'll run into trouble. Roman and I, we don't need to have a working relationship. You know our history. You know everything that's gone on between us. We don't need to have a working relationship to be on the same page, especially when it concerns Cesaro. So just some more great words from Seth Rollins that really adds more context to everything going on right now. As of this moment, it looks like Seth Rollins' issue is with Jimmy and Jay, not Roman Reigns. And we saw them have a short conversation about this backstage a few weeks ago. Seth Rollins straightened everything out with Roman Reigns, but warned him that he had to get his cousins under control. Roman said that it was his family and that he'll take care of it. Seth told him he better take care of it or he'll take care of it himself. So Seth Rollins was basically echoing what he said from SmackDown a few weeks ago on The Bump, basically saying that if he crosses paths with Jimmy and Jay again, and has another bad experience, there's going to be trouble and he's going to take care of it. And if that happens, if Seth takes out Jimmy or Jay, that's automatically going to bring Roman Reigns into the fold. Yeah, Roman Reigns' character is self-centered and all that, but his feelings with family seems to be legitimate. You attack one of his and he looks at it as an attack on him. So if Seth puts his hands on Jimmy and Jay, that's going to likely lead to trouble between Roman and Seth. Who knows, maybe that's the route they go in after all. Maybe Roman vs Seth jumps off because Seth's issue is with Jimmy or Jay. So maybe it's not a full-blown face turn for Rollins, maybe it's a heel vs heel match that 
came to be because of that little family issue there. But it definitely seems like that's the direction we're heading in. Hell in a Cell is the next event, and like many have pointed out, this event isn't really meant for new feuds. This event and the Hell in a Cell match itself is usually known for being the end of long feuds. So Reigns vs Rollins won't be happening at that event at all. A lot of fans are looking at SummerSlam as the possible perfect place for Roman Reigns vs Seth. Obviously, WWE wants to save that matchup for when fans return, and why not push it back even more and save it as one of the major matches at SummerSlam later this year? That does make a lot of sense, and would be the perfect matchup for what's looked at as WWE's second biggest card of the year. Are you looking forward to Roman Reigns vs Seth Rollins? Kurt Angle recently opened up about one of the WWE backstage fights that he saw the aftermath of. This was of course the 2006 backstage fight between Batista and Booker T. Kurt Angle recently opened up about what he saw that day on his podcast. He had this to say, I was there after the fight ended, but I heard what occurred. Batista got there for a commercial. We were all doing the commercial. I think it was for SummerSlam. Someone approached him and Batista said, Hey, when are you coming over to SmackDown because I have nobody to work with? Booker took that as, wait a minute, I'm on SmackDown. There's a lot of people to work with. I think Batista was just saying because there was a lot of injuries going on and it was getting bare at the top. And he was just trying to tell the person, I would love for you to come over and work a program with you. I don't think it was anything personal against Booker T or anyone else on SmackDown. So Batista said it and Booker T confronted him. Now the situation got hotter because now Booker T confronts Batista. It makes Batista look like an idiot. Batista yells back at Booker. Then they end up in the fight confrontation. The fight occurred. I got there afterward. I saw Booker T had a black eye and Batista was a little banged up. I thought it was a big misunderstanding. I know they apologized after and made up and did whatever they had to do to move on. I think it was just a big misunderstanding and they misunderstood each other about the whole situation. It was a shame. It really was. It didn't have to happen. So that was Kurt Angle's explanation of the backstage fight. This was one of those backstage fights that have been floating around online for a few years now. But it was the first time Kurt Angle told his side of the story. Basically saying that it was just a big misunderstanding. Batista was telling people that he wanted to work with them because no one was on SmackDown. Booker T was on SmackDown, so it seems like he took that as Batista basically calling him a nobody and that led to the conflict. Ironically and strangely enough, Batista and Booker T would later feud with each other for the World Heavyweight title, which saw Batista finally capture the world title from Booker T. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments, don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching guys.